June Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell says he's ready to enter a power-sharing agreement with Majority Leader Chuck Schumer after two Democrat senators, Joe Manchin of West Virginia and Kirsten Sinema of Arizona, pledged to vote against eliminating the filibuster. McConnell says the filibuster was a key component of the 2001 power-sharing agreement, the last time that there was a 50-50 split in the Senate, and this is just the fourth time in the history of the U.S. Under the agreement, both parties will have an equal number of committee seats, but Democrats will hold chairmanships and Majority Leader Schumer will set the agenda. Vice President Kamala Harris also has the tie-breaking vote as president of the Senate. Here on Capitol Hill, impeachment is a topic guaranteed to inflame sensitivities, leading the National Guard to stick around. The National Guard has been requested to continue supporting federal law enforcement agencies with about 7,000 personnel for the coming weeks. That uh, presence will likely draw down to about 5,000 by mid-March. The article of impeachment was delivered to the Senate last night, and the trial begins on February 8th. And even with this power-sharing agreement, there is still a great divide here on Capitol Hill, so much so that Ohio Republican Senator Rob Portman, a moderate, is announcing that he will not run for re-election in 2022. So the question is, is there still a place at the table here in Washington for a moderate in either party? That